All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And I know that you're all mad at me because I bashed um, the uh, SmackDown uh, Skank Train uh, last week, but, you know, I, I was just, just messing with you guys. Jesus Christ, do you guys take wrestling a little bit serious when one guy puts a bad mouth on one thing? Holy shit, dude. One video... One video got over 100 dislikes, and I was like, wow, these guys take wrestling, like, so serious. It's like wrestling's for fun. It's a hobby. Here, I got something for your dislikes. Uh, anyways, okay, uh, all kidding aside, it's going to take you a while not to be mad at me anymore, but I did find my edge beanie. Very cool. Um, also, I was going to tell you guys, too, go ahead and hit the dislike button. I'll give you three seconds. One. Okay, go ahead. Uh, anyway, so I was going to tell you guys, uh, we got a cool DVD coming out next week uh, for WWE. It's a true story of the Royal Rumble. This is good. This is going to be good. This is going to be fantastic. I'm all over this. I'm gonna, totally going to pick this one up. Probably on Blu-ray. I haven't bought a Blu-ray in a while. It's, uh, it's going to be good. This is going to be a good one. I have a feeling to hear some stories on the Royal Rumble that we haven't heard before, um, even though we've all seen all the Royal Rumbles and stuff. It'll still be cool to possibly hear some insight on the true story of the Royal Rumble. And by the way, I did purchase the Hell in a Cell DVD. I did watch Sasha and Charlotte last night in the Hell in a Cell, and it was awesome. So I give them a lot of credit. It was a great match. It was very cool. Uh, so there you go. I said something positive about the uh, uh, new era. Anyways, true story of the Royal, Royal Rumble out next week. Uh, I'm Gemini. Thank you for disliking. I mean, watching the video. Have a good one.